Well, here we go again with another quick video for my eBay listing. Uh, I'm parting with this Ytech Square Mist Senior and with great difficulty for the simple fact that I only deal in rarity and nobody has ever seen this sprinkler before, nor will they ever. And when I spotted it, I simply bought it for no, no other reason than to film it, disassemble it, make some sketches, and now it's time to pass on to somebody who wants to either give it some shelf life or some garden life. Um, real quick, obviously the, 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 the entire machine is completely freed up. The base, bolt, the base nut down here, that'll spin right off. You can remove the head assembly for cleaning or polishing. Uh, the base can be painted. Uh, it's a dark green paint. The underside of the base has two coves. These coves appear to have been in black. And it's been my understanding from years of restoring these sprinklers that quite possibly the base was dipped in the black, some sort of oxide primer. And then the green was simply applied after the fact, and that would have been like the color coat. So that's something to consider. Anyway, the spray turret itself is rather interesting in that you have this round piece up here, which is like a bowl. There are four holes underneath it. By turning these lock nuts up or down, you determine how high this raises and therefore the volume of water. Now, once the water is spraying, you are, and again, square mist, you are adjusting the pattern with these three little bats that turn 180 degrees. And in the drawings that I'm going to provide to the buyer, the, the it indicates how to set them. And it's very strange. They need to be set at exactly the right locations in order for the unit to actually water a square. Um, beyond that, uh, Chicago, USA, of course, where 90% of the sprinklers were made back in those days. Uh, this word says malleable, referring to the fact that the base is made of malleable iron, not cast iron, meaning that it's not as brittle. Uh, over here we have Ytech Manufacturing Company, and from what I can understand, Stephen Ytech uh, went on to establish a large uh, golf supply industry. I'm not sure on that, so don't quote me. It's a very interesting piece. There's not a whole lot to it. It's extremely heavy, probably weighs five pounds, but when you when you connect your garden hose to this and then start fiddling with all this, after a while, it, it, it's, it's almost like a new computer. You find yourself wanting to continue to play with it, and you can't walk away from it. It's just amazing. So, anyway, it's the Ytech Square Mist Senior, and hopefully someday we'll run across the Junior. Good luck.